Chicago, live on the floor at the CME Group, Todd Horwitz, giving us kind of a 101 here in trading, and he talked about how that relates to all, all the markets to the grain markets. Now, you talk about being stable and kind of, a, you know, not straight up or straight down in grains. A lot more erratic trade in the last uh, three months or so in livestock. Talk about that in the relations to the outside markets. Well, I think the first thing in the livestock, we had a market that was probably a little bit too high and sold off a little bit too fast. So that was more of a technical action, short squeeze, all that stuff. But it does affect the overall market. You know, one of the things we got to remember in life is that everybody's got to be able to make money. From the producer or the manufacturer all the way up the chain, everybody's got to be able to make, make money. And because of the outside influences we're now getting from the central banks and the Federal Reserves, they are preventing the average guy, a guy like me, middle class, from making as much money as I used to make. So for me to go out and want to buy that steak or go to that restaurant, I'm not going to be as, as, as often to go there because that affects me because I don't want to pay for it. And it works all the way down. And when the producers stop making m money, it hurts everybody. So everybody thinks low prices are good. Low prices are not good. We need fair and average inflation to help everybody so that everybody can make money and enjoy themselves versus what we have now. And the Fed is creating this this forced vacuum down, which is, again, hurting our producers, farmers. They're not making enough money and they're losing money this year because the whole economy is suffering. And that's part of the problem when you try to manipulate and move around an economy. An economy. Does that move over to the crude oil market then as well, things like that, and, and, oh, and, uh, and gold and silver? It affects all of it because, again, what you're really doing, Mark, everybody wants to say it's all about oil, and that's where the oil and markets go the same way. That's not true. What's happening is no producer out there that's in the commodity space can afford to hire anybody, so they cut back on jobs. They're working themselves. None of them are making any money. They're losing money on every trade. Every time they put something in the ground, right now it's a loser. Okay, so they need to have an economy that allows everything to flow, hmm. flow freely, which is not what they're doing. There's too much manipulation, just like China, Japan the other day. Lowering their interest rates to zero, negative zero rates. I'm sorry, giving negative rates on the market. That propelled a stock market rally because that indicated more cheap money. But that hurts the dollar, makes it too strong. It hurts our producers. It hurts all the way down the chain. At the end, it's going to be an ugly mess. But that's really the problem that we're seeing. All right, good. All right, and we're going to get some numbers here right now as we sit in the livestock complex. We're going to let you go, and we'll visit with you tonight on our rural evening news. Thanks, Todd. Thanks, Mark. Todd Horwitz, Bubba Trading, live from the floor to CME Group. And we have enough time remaining to get you all the numbers now. Live cattle, feeder cattle, and hog futures. One last time as we head to the top of the hour. Live cattle futures higher here on the day. February up 13 at 135.80. And that after a high today. 136.22. April getting more volume, we are told now. And rightfully so, now that the calendar has rolled into February. April live cattle 40 points higher right now 134.82 that's after a high just over 135 so we're not that far away from our high of the day high for april 135.07 take a look at the feeder cattle trade one last time feeder cattle higher as well well at least the march contract is that's the nearby it is up 10 157.88 sitting right there below that is april uh, and interestingly that and the only contract to be lower in April is down two points now, 156.88. Again, 156.88, while March, 157.88. And our lean hog trade complex there, again, looked a little uh, toppy to some starting out the day, and indeed taking some back. We'll see if it's just a one-day affair. February down a dollar right now, 64.35. Again, April getting more volume here, and April lean hogs down a dollar 38. They were above 70 to start the day right now, 69.32. So taking careful notes here. Good stuff from Todd Horowitz. Absolutely, as always.